In this video, we will look at factoring using greatest common factors, and specifically in a process called grouping. The way grouping works is we take the greatest common factor of the left and right sides separately. Then, we factor out the binomial GCF if it matches. Our hope is that it will match when we factor the GCF out of the left and right side. For example, considering this problem, if we split the problem down the middle, after the second term, before the next sign, on the left side, we see there's a common factor of 5y. When we factor out the 5y, we're left with 3x, plus 2. On the right side, we see there's a common factor of negative 6. Notice we said the common factor was negative if the first term had a negative sign. Keep the sign with the first term. Factoring out negative 6 will leave us with 3x, plus 2. Notice, when we've done this, we end up with a binomial GCF that matches on both parts. 3x plus 2 is one of our factors. The other factor is what's left when we factor that out, 5y minus 6. And now we have factored our expression. These are the factors that, when multiplied together, will give us the original problem. We can quickly check this answer by multiplying out 3x times 5y to get the 15xy, 3x times the negative 6 to get the negative 18x, 2 times 5y to get the 10y, and 2 times negative 6 to get the negative 12. Let's try another problem, where we're able to factor it into two binomials by using grouping on each side. Again, to group, we will split the problem right after the second term, before the next sign. On this problem, on the left, we see we have a common factor of 3x. When we factor out the 3x, we're left with 2x plus y. On the right side, it seems we have no common factor. In this case, we will factor out the only thing we can, which is a positive 1. Using grouping, we must always factor out something, so we use 1 if nothing else works. Factoring out a 1 leaves us with 2x plus y. Notice, this gave us that matching binomial common factor. 2x plus y is one of our factors. The other factor comes from what's left when we factor those out, the 3x plus 1. And this becomes our solution, the factors that were multiplied together to give us the 6x squared plus 3xy plus 2x plus y were 2x plus y times 3x plus 1. By dividing the problem into two groups, and factoring the left and right, often we can find a matching binomial common factor.